Hey guys, if you do not have your board marker and eraser, go ahead and grab your materials right now while you pause this video. So in today's mini lesson, we talked about our customary units of length. And when we're talking about our customary units of length, we are very fortunate to be able to have our little cheat sheet here, which will even be on our state assessment. So needing to memorize this will not necessarily be necessary. Um, However, if you do memorize it, things will be a little easier for you. So we learned that one mile is the same thing as 5,280 feet. One yard is the same thing as three feet, and one foot equals 12 inches. So whatever problem we have that we're looking at, we'll always wanna go back to what we do know. And what we do know, we can look back at our cheat sheet. So for this problem, eight yards equals blank feet. You are going to need to go from yards to feet. So let's look back at our cheat sheet. We know that one yard equals three feet. So if one yard equals three feet, then we know that we need to get from three, from, excuse me, one yard all the way to eight yards. So when we were doing our mini lesson today, we talked about starting from what we know. So we have one yard equals three, and we had that table. So then if one yard equals three, then two yards would equal, well, what's three plus three? Six. So then three yards would be plus another three feet. What's six plus three? Nine. Four yards would be another plus three feet. What's nine plus three? Twelve. Then we have five yards is another plus three feet, which would be 15. Six yards is another plus three, which would be 18. Seven yards would be another plus three, which would be 21 and eight yards would be another plus three, which would be 24 feet. Now looking at our pattern here and our multiples of three, we could have taken eight times three and gotten what? 24. All right, we're gonna look at our next problem and this is the one I would like for you to solve independently. So we have five feet equaling how many inches? So let's look back at our cheat sheet. We know that one foot is the same thing as 12 inches. So go ahead and pause this video right now and solve our problem. Go ahead and go. So when we're looking at this, we know that one foot is the same thing as 12 inches. So one foot is 12 inches. So two feet would be 12 plus 12, or 12 times two, which is 24. Now, we could continue on and do the same thing for three, four, and five, but we learned that this is essentially a multiple of 12. So what is 12 times five? And if we don't know, we can always solve. So we have 12 times five. Five times two equals 10. Carry my one. Five times one equals five. Plus one equals 60. So how many inches are in five feet? The answer to that is 60. So double check your answers. If you got that incorrect, look back and see where the mistake was that you made. Was it a simple addition mistake if you added for your answer? Or was it a multiplication mistake if you chose to use your multiples and multiply? Think about those mistakes if you made them and think about what we did here as you do your exit ticket. Good luck.